Welcome to the San Juan Islands. In this ultimate travel guide, I'm gonna show you the top things to do, see, and eat here. So let's get right into it. No visit to the San Juan Islands is complete without going on a whale watching tour. This is one of the best places in the United States to see orcas. All whale watching tours leave from Friday Harbor. They last about three hours and range from $100 to $200. If you're coming to the San Juan Islands, make sure you do a whale watching tour. It is definitely worth it. Orcas can be found year round in the waters near San Juan, but the best time to see them is mid-June through September. We just got done with the whale watching tour. We used uh, Western Prince. Uh, you're going out on a small zodiac, so you get to cover a lot more ground. We saw a ton of orcas, some bald eagles. I cannot recommend this company enough. So if you come out here, Western Prince, check them out. After one of the most incredible experiences of your life, you're gonna be a little bit hungry. So we went and got some food at Spring Street Deli. The sandwiches here are amazing. The prices are cheap. Go check them out. So we're here at Spring Street Deli. Just got the goods. If you're looking for a great sandwich, check them out. All right, we are here at Roche Harbor. Look at this beautiful scenery right here. Uh, this is an amazing place to come take a stroll, get some food. There's lots of fresh fish markets here, uh, restaurants. Come check it out. We are here at Sculpture Park in Roche Harbor. Come with me, let's go check it out. After seeing the beautiful sculptures in Roche Harbor, we drove to the English camp. In 1859, the killing of a pig on San Juan Islands brought England and the United States to the brink of war over the issue of territorial rights. So we're here at San Juan County Park. If you're looking to do some camping or if you got an RV, this is an amazing place to come. 
beautiful scenery. Just look at this gorgeous water out here. Come check it out. Next up, we are heading to Friday Harbor to Downriggers to get some delicious food with a view. We got a burger and fish and chips. The food was great. The view was spectacular. After dinner, we had a little bit of time before sunset, so we drove towards Lime Kiln Point State Park and experienced the beautiful San Juan Island sunset. The next morning, we decided to wake up at 5 a.m. and drive to Cattle Point Lighthouse for a beautiful sunrise. After an early start, we headed back to Friday Harbor to get some breakfast at the Salty Fox. Alright, we're here at the Salty Fox at Friday Harbor. Stop by to get some breakfast. So I got a savory pesto bowl and got a breakfast burrito. After breakfast, we headed back south to the American camp, which was occupied by the U.S. Army from July 1859 to November 1874. The only structures that still remain are the office quarters. here at 4th of July Beach on the southern end of San Juan Island. As you can see, there's no one here. It's just us, it's beautiful. Check out the water glistening. If you are here, you gotta come visit. After 4th of July Beach, we headed to South Beach. This is the longest public beach in the San Juan Islands. It stretches for over two miles. There is a massive amount of driftwood, but it is absolutely beautiful and worth a visit. Our next stop was the Pelandaba Lavender Farm. July through August is peak lavender season here where you can walk through the fields in full bloom. We are here at the Pelandaba Lavender Farm. As you can see, it's beautiful. Just lavender everywhere. You could smell it in the air. Um, now we're gonna go check out the store, so follow me. <laughs> and here's 
a interesting combination. Tastes good. We got a little hungry and headed back to Friday Harbor to get some fish and chips at the bait shop. The fish was crispy and flaky. Highly recommend coming here if you're in Friday Harbor. All right, we are here at Lime Kiln State Park. This is one of the best places to do whale watching just from shore. So let's go check it out. We came here three times, but never saw any orcas, but we did catch a few beautiful sunsets. The next morning we woke up to some rain, so we headed to San Juan Bakery to get some fresh pastries. They are closed on the weekends unfortunately, but when they do open, there is a line out the door. The almond croissant here is fantastic. I recommend you get that. After breakfast, I was determined to see a bald eagle. Before we left, we headed to Eagle Cove County Park. While we did not see any bald eagles, it was beautiful and a butterfly resting area. So we'll continue down to Cattle Point Lighthouse where we got lucky and as soon as we walked in, we saw two bald eagles resting on top of the lighthouse. here at the crystal acres alpaca farm about to hang out with these cute little creatures come check it out after playing with the alpacas we headed back to san juan bakery for their famous pizza they start serving it at 11 o'clock and it did not disappoint Here at the San Juan Bakery, we got a couple of pizzas. So each slice is about seven, eight dollars. One slice equals two slices. And just look at this, no flop. That's a good pizza right there. So come check them out. After lunch, we headed back to Roche Harbor to the McMillan family mausoleum, which is a tribute to the legacy of the Roche Harbor founders. The mausoleum is absolutely stunning. The architecture is incredible. Definitely worth the short hike. On our way back to Friday Harbor, we stopped at Reuben Tart County Park. This is a great place for those seeking oceanside solitude. So we're here at the San Juan Farmer's Market. It's open Saturdays, 9.30 to 1. It's at 150 Nickel Street. Come check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.